All right, today in this 1999 Freightliner motorhome chassis, we're going to review and install the Roadmaster Reflex Steering Stabilizer, part number RM-RBK14-RSSA. This is what the Reflex Steering Stabilizer looks like when it's installed on our motor coach. First off, it's going to install on our tie rod right here. It'll connect over here to about right next to the shock mount that's mounted to our axle. You make a left hand turn, the spring will expand, and once you come out of a turn, the spring will want to contract and pull your wheels in a straight line. Same thing, you make a right hand turn, this will uh, compress, and it'll want to expand back to its center position. When, the, with, when it's in the center position, your steering wheel is going to be a lot easier to control and will require less input as you go down the road. The main benefit about having the control going in a straight line wheel is that you're not constantly making adjustments of going over rough roads or roads with ruts in them, and it, or, and it helps also helps with oversteer to make sure you, you go around your curve properly and less effort is required. And one critical feature about our steering stabilizer is hope that it never happens to you, but if you do have a blowout on one of your front wheels, this will actually help keep your RV going in a straight line as you have your blowout. Now as you're going down the highway, like I was talking about inputs before, a lot of times you may be doing this, do the slack in the steering to make up for it, or maybe crosswind even. With steering stabilizer in place, you're only going to make short little turns or adjustments like this. It kind of makes it a little bit more car-like, but you can still turn as needed. Now, as you add upgrades to your RV in the suspension category and steering, this actually the steering stabilizer, I think, is one of the best bets or best bang for the buck you can get. And if you're going to need to think you're going to start off with enhancements, I would start here first and then work on sway bars on back. Now, the first part of our install is to go ahead and take the RV on a short chest drive or in a large, or long parking lot and mark the steering wheel so it's perfectly in the center line. So you kind of let it just drive in a straight line, let the steering wheel fall where it goes, put on the brakes, it will mark the steering wheel. Basically, I'll use some blue painter's tape. You can use anything you want. Uh, just to mark its center. So once I put the steering stabilizer in position, it'll be in a neutral area, so it'll spring back left or right as needed and always return to our, our center mark. Now this is also a job that is commonly done on the ground. However, for our application to make things easier to see, we're going to use some lifts. We're going to pick up the RV by the wheels as if it was on the ground. First off, this bracket right here will be installed in this location right here next to the shock on the driver's side. This oval hole here and this round hole will match up to these two bolts at the bottom here with the slot going towards the front of the motorhome. These two holes here will go towards the passenger side. We'll loosen up our hardware right here using an inch and an eighth wrench and socket. Now I broke these loose earlier with a breaker bar. We'll go ahead and remove them. Now, when you remove this one, you're going to put your wrench at an odd angle to get a hold of it. We'll save our hardware, put our plate back into place, and reinstall the original hardware. Then we'll torque the bolts down as described in the instructions. Next up is our tie rod bracket which will go onto our tie rod right here. It doesn't matter where it goes for now. We'll adjust it later, but we'll take our hue bolts, I'll thread into it, and we want to end up with this hole in the bracket going towards the back of our coach. Put in a flat washer and a lock nut. Now I'm just gonna snug up our bolts using a 916 socket, but still where I can move it enough. I'm just taking up a slot for now. Now the steering stabilizer itself can go into place. We'll take the supplied hardware here, put a flat washer, we'll run it through this side of the stabilizer with the spring on it, and we'll run this to our bracket that we installed onto our axle. So also just put it into place, maybe balance it on the tie rod a little bit, and then install another flat washer and a lock nut. Just leaving it loose for now. 
We'll do the same thing on the other end. Bolt through the top with the threads pointing down to the ground. We'll take our tie rod bracket here, scoot it over in position, line it up with the bolt hole. Then we'll put another flat washer and a lock nut into place. Now right now we have it mocked up in position. So you want to take a look at it, make sure there's plenty of clearance all the way around. You got the two holes on the uh, driver's side on the bracket so you can adjust it forward or back as needed. Once you're satisfied with the position of it, you want to have this bracket as horizontal as possible and we'll go ahead and tighten down our U-bolts. Do a little bit at a time, make sure it's nice and even. Then we'll torque these down as specified in the instructions. Now let's tighten these bolts down using a three quarter inch wrench and socket. 19 millimeter will actually work too. At this point, everything's installed. Next up is to go ahead and take another quick test drive, make sure it goes in a straight line, and then make any adjustments if we need to. Let's go take our little test drive, make sure it drives straight. Big parking lot will do just fine. Keep the wheel straight. Go around a turn. Now as you drive, you might feel a little bit more resistance going around the turns won't hurt anything but you will pick it up on it a little bit. As you go around and turn, you shouldn't really let go of the steering wheel but you can see how it pulls it back into place. And now we'll finish it for the Roadmaster Reflex Steering Stabilizer, part number RM-RBK14-RSSA on this 1999 Freightliner Motorhome Chassis.